This is the second of a series of videos on um, market failure. In this video, we're going to introduce the idea of externalities. We're going to explain and describe the concept, and we're going to also explain the concepts of marginal private cost, marginal social cost, marginal private benefit, and marginal social benefit. So this is an introduction to externalities in general. So, what are externalities? Basically, externalities occur when the production or consumption of a good or service has an effect on a third party. Okay, in this situation, we say that an externality has occurred. Now, externalities can be positive externalities or negative externalities. If the effect on the third party is harmful, we say that this is a negative externality. This is an external cost that must be added to the private costs of the producer or the consumer to reflect the full cost to society. In the case of negative externalities, marginal social cost is higher than the marginal private cost. And this is because marginal social cost is equal to marginal private cost plus marginal external cost. Now, what if the effect is beneficial? Okay, we say that there's a positive externality. This is an external benefit that must be added to the private benefits of the producer or the consumer to reflect the full benefit to society. In this case, the marginal social benefit is higher than the marginal private benefit because marginal social benefit equals marginal private benefit plus marginal external benefit. Now, the optimal allocation of resources in the market occurs when marginal social costs equal marginal social benefits. So, to reach the optimum where community surplus is maximized, marginal social costs have to equal the marginal social benefits. Now, basically, to take on from the previous slide, if no externalities exist, the marginal social cost will equal marginal social benefit, and this means that the community surplus will be maximized. But in the case of the existence of externalities, marginal social cost will not equal marginal social benefit. And in this case, we have market failure and allocative inefficiency. This diagram here will, um, is, is one that we've seen before. We, we know from um, previous videos that the um, supply curve is the marginal social cost curve and the demand curve is the marginal social benefit curve. So we know that the optimum allocation of resources occurs at the equilibrium point here where marginal social cost equals marginal social benefit. So um, at equilibrium, uh, this is the optimum allocation of resources. Now, we've seen in previous videos that consumer surplus is um, that triangle under the demand curve um, here, and producer surplus is that triangle above the supply curve here. Both of them together, when you add them together, that gives us the community surplus. So community surplus is consumer surplus plus producer surplus, which is... Um, both triangles added together here that I am highlighting with the laser pointer. It's that big triangle. We know that community surplus is maximized where marginal social cost equals marginal social benefit. And this is the optimum allocation of resources in a free market.